Hey guys, so this is the first time I've had a chance to like talk to you guys today, but I went down to my dad's and cleaned this morning after work, and so it's almost lunch time. I'm currently waiting on a lady that I'm selling some stuff on the Facebook marketplace at a place that's like close to my dad's house. I'm early, and so I'm just sitting here listening to Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I'm liking it so far. Like, I'm I think I'm a, almost a halfway through the audiobook, which is kind of weird because I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that. But anyways, yeah, I'm really liking it. It's very, very dense and there's a lot going on and there's some, like, some weird dark stuff going on and I don't know, like, I am really liking it, so I will continue. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and continue to listen to the audiobook and wait for this lady to get here to buy some dishes from me. Hey guys, as you can tell, I am back home. I play with the dogs a little bit. I made out my menu for next week, like my food menu. And I wanna tell you guys where I got to Red Rising and how I'm feeling about it. I am currently on page 238 of a 400 page book. So right before chapter 31. And the beginning of this, it is really dense and really there's a lot going on so I think you really need to like pay attention and know what's going on to get every single one of these details and even honestly I probably missed some details but like this much of the book like no joke was so dense and so many characters and so much coming at you all at once you really got to pay attention but now that we're kind of like getting more into the book and more into the plot of the book and what's going on with Daro, who is the main male character in this book, and we're getting just his point of view as of right now, I am immensely enjoying this. Like at first I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty good. Like it's really good. And then like, I don't know, there was like a switch that turned on and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And it kind of has like hunger game vibes to it I oh, know I'm really really liking this so my headphones are charging because they died because I didn't want to stop listening to this so while they're charging I think I'm going to take a break I probably need to make some dinner here in a little bit but I want to say hey welcome to my vlog and today is day five or day four of galaxy a -thon, and I'm really really in enjoying this if you guys haven't checked out my other vlog from the first three days that is up i'll put that in cards i will make like a playlist for you guys if you want to check that out but yeah welcome to this vlog and let's read a lot of galaxy books hey guys so i don't even know if you can see me oh yeah that didn't work uh, but anyways hey guys so i've decided i think i'm just going to stop reading for the night it's getting a little bit late i ended up talking to macy for like two or three hours this afternoon and we we're just discussing defy the stars we were discussing red rising i'm on page 238 in red rising and i'm really really enjoying it and liking it so i can't wait to get into more of that tomorrow but me and dakota are hanging out in bed and winter is laying in her crate and yeah so i think i'm just gonna watch some tv and or some youtube or something and just go to bed for the night because i'm getting really really tired the last few days getting up extremely early and then everything that i did today i'm just tired so i will see you guys tomorrow for day five I'm still on the farm. I'm waiting for this train to go through so I can get across the tracks and go do my errands. I'm meeting up with my mom and we're gonna go to Home Goods and Aldi's and Walmart. Or I might do Walmart by myself. So we're gonna meet up, drop my car somewhere, and then ride together down to where our like shopping centers and stuff are. But yeah, I'm waiting on this train to come through. I'm still currently reading Red Rising and really, really enjoying it. Like it is so good and so like detailed and so much is going on. I don't know. Like it's looking like almost like a five-star book. It's so good. But anyways, 
Let me wait for this train to come through and then go meet my mother. Hey guys, so it's been a little bit, but I need to tell you guys that I finished Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I'm probably going to say this is probably one of my favorite books of the year thus far. I love this book. It is absolutely epic. And this book was on my books to read by June of 2021. Like I've had this book on TBRs for so freaking long and I don't understand now why I've had it on TBRs so many times and haven't gotten to it because I absolutely love this. This was so many plot points and just so much going on so many details and so dense in one little like 400 page book that I can't believe. Well, I'm glad that I went ahead and read this now and I'm so glad that I have finally read Rising. I love this book so much and I highly, highly re uh, like recommend reading that like almost my next book I want to read is Golden Sun but I kind of want to get out of Darrow's head for a little bit so I think I'm going to pick up Supernova by Marissa Meyer because if you guys watched my Buzzwaterthon video yes you're supposed to read like galaxy or space books or like have galaxy or space themes in that book but you also can like if you have a word on the cover that's like a moon star sun so on so forth you can read that book so this is like a superhero book so i think i want to take a step out of the space reads for a little bit and read supernova because supernova is like a space term so I think I'm gonna read this next but I'm still kind of in this like not slump after reading Red Rising but in this high of how flipping amazing it was that um I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to jump into this but I think this is gonna be my next book so I think I'm going to go jump in the bathtub for a little while my dog's barking at the cows but yeah I think I'm gonna go jump in the bathtub for a little bit and then maybe start this tonight maybe not we'll just have to see hey guys hopefully you can see me but it's the end of the day I ended up talking to my boyfriend for a few hours on the phone this afternoon after I got off the phone with Macy I am planning on picking up Supernova tomorrow like I said earlier but I think I'm going to bed here's my steps for the day here's my total calorie counts for the day because I'm still watching that and I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of Galaxy of Nine Good morning guys, welcome to Galaxy a -thon day six. I'm waiting on my mom to get here. My brother has a game at 12 o'clock, but unfortunately we can't go because it's one out of town, two because of COVID, but I'm repping my shirt for him today. And yeah, so I think me and my mom are just gonna go shop around, maybe go to the bookstore, just kind of have like a fun morning. And then I'm gonna come home, start Supernova by Marissa Meyer later and clean my house and do like laundry and stuff. I have started laundry, but I need to do a lot more. Well, not a lot, but I have a few loads to do this afternoon and I need to clean my bathroom, sweet mop, just things like that. So anyways, waiting on my mom to get here. She should be here like at any moment and we're gonna go shopping. So guys, I am back home and a package I've been waiting from Macy for a while now. We thought it got lost, but it finally came. And if you guys don't know, you can ship um, books media mail and it's actually a little bit cheaper. So she sent me some books through media mail and it looks like it got randomly selected um, to be checked to make sure it's just books because there's like a note on the side of it that says approved. So anyways, um, so she sent me Earth Girl by Janet Edwards. Oh, she sent me a little puppy. She also sent me Cinder, even though I have a hard copy of this, she sent me a paperback copy because my copy is like a ex library edition. I kind of wanted a nicer copy of it. Oh, she sent me some, this is a sticker that I actually sent to her and it looks 
amazing nature's back i love these t-shirts and then she also sent me a mickey uh, bookmark because she makes bookmarks for everybody that she uh trades books and stuff with let me make sure that was everything nope one more out of that one and then she also sent me a mandalorian sticker bookmark i love these bookmarks these are like my favorite bookmarks ever so i got that this also got ripple by mandy hubbard it's really cool so you always check books with Macy because sometimes she sends you bookmarks. We got Sea Change by Amy Friedman. It's really cool. Oh, bookmarks. See what I say? And then I got another Mandalorian and a cute like spring day one. That one's really cute. Daggum, she sent me a lot. So she also sent me Dare Mighty Things. And this is by Heather. Oh, more bookmarks. <gasps> Oh, I love these. You are heaven sent. That's cute. And then this one's just um, my nature's back bookmark that I sent her. How cute was that? She also sent me One Giant Leap, which is the second book to Dare Mighty Things. And two more bookmarks. This one's Harry Potter and more Mandalorian. If you can't tell, guys, she knows I love Mandalorian stuff. Dang, God, she sent me all kinds of cool stuff. More of these little puppies. Uh, forgive my fins. More bookmarks of Mandalorian. And another cute, like, spring is here bookmark. I love these bookmarks, guys. I know I've already said that, but I really do. So she sent me uh, a Darkness Strange and Lovely. And then something Strange and Deadly. These are both by Susan Denard. These covers are freaking awesome. Kiss Me, I'm Irish. How cute is that? And then more Mickey and Minnie. How freaking sweet. I will... Again, I just love these bookmarks. So two more books. And then she sent me a surprise. Food Fest 365 Days, the unofficial food fun holiday cookbook. How flipping cool is that? But yeah, guys, that's my, I didn't know I was getting the Food Fest 365 day cookbook. So I need to message her and thank her for that. But before I do that, I'll show you guys two other books that I got today when I went to the bookstore earlier. Actually got three books today. Um, Macy has asked me to tell her five books that I want her to read by the end of the year. So I want to do it also. So I have asked Macy for five books she recommends for me to read by the end of the year. And one of those books is the Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. And so I found it today for a really good price. And it was a secondhand bookstore, but for $3.75. But when I got up to the counter, it rang up for a dollar. So apparently it was supposed to be like maybe clearance items and they hadn't gotten to it yet. And then I also found The Beast is an, an Animal by Panair Van Arsdale. And this was also supposed to be $2.95. And when I got up to the counter, it also ran up for $1.75. So that was really cool that I got two books that were supposed to be clearanced off. And, you know, I found them. And then we went over to Ollie's. And I found this really cute, like, movie book. Um, the Crimes of Gendawar. It's like the movie Lights, Camera, Magic. The making of the movie for only $3.99. Because they have the regular price and then the, the price that you pay, the $3.99 at Ollie's. And I love this book already. I kind of like already looked through it a little bit. But this was really cute. I love the movie and I love the book. And the movie is just absolutely magical. I can't wait for the next one to come out. But I saw this and I just had to have it. Yeah, that's it. So, I'm back home. It is currently 2.41. The day has just like flown by. We went to the bookstore, we went to Ollie's, we went to Academy, we had lunch. We kind of just like ran around and did like fun things with my mom today. And so now that I'm back home, I need to get these books in the back room and I need to cut the grass, spread out some more tick and flea stuff. And yeah, I think I need to do that before I wash and do my bathroom this afternoon if I'm covered in grass and stuff. It won't take me long to cut the grass. So yeah, so let me go wash my face, get ready to cut the grass. And um, I'm also still planning on starting Supernova today. So I need to do that. Okay guys, it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, no, about 10.45, never mind. 
Um, I was waiting for a video to upload. I have it uploaded and scheduled for posting. And I'll tell you guys how far I actually got into Supernova. Yeah, like, I'm almost done. Like, I have about two hours left in audio, so I'm at chapter 38. But, uh, yeah, I just can't get my eyes open anymore. I'm tired. Uh, Dakota's already passed out of sleep. So... Here's my steps for the day. Here's my calorie counts for the day. If you can't tell, I'm so tired. But I will see you guys tomorrow for day seven of Galaxy a -thon. Good morning, guys. Happy Easter. Well, it's not morning. It's like 11.45. But anyways, I went to a sunrise service this morning with my friend Trinity and had a really good time. That's the first time I've been to like a sunrise service. And then I came home, gave the girls their Easter basket type. I just got them a few little toys and a ball and a little treat that they can share. And then I took the girls for a pretty good long walk, showered, put some makeup on. Now I'm waiting on my mom to get here because we're gonna go pick up some barbecue and go over to my Nana's house to have like a Sunday lunch or Easter lunch. So yeah, so I'm waiting on her to get here and when she gets here, we'll head out the door. I am still currently listening to Supernova. I have exactly 30 minutes left in the audiobook and the audiobook is so amazing and this book is so amazing. I'm loving it so much. Like I've gave the first two five stars and this one is looking more like five stars also. Like I love it so much. So anyways, um, I think my mom just pulled in, so I'll see you guys soon. So guys, I'm just coming on here to say I'm home. I went to my grandmother's house, had Easter. I went to my aunt's house, I'm home. The girls are outside, it's so nice and pretty out. But I'll tell you guys that I finished Supernova and I'm giving this five stars. I absolutely love this book. It has such a great kind of plot twist ending, like the epilogue was on point. So I'm not sure if I'm starting another book just yet, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the vlog here. I hope you guys like this. I am enjoying Galaxy of Thought so much that I'm probably actually going to be sad when it's over, but we have seven more days. So look forward to more vlogs coming out soon. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another Galaxy book. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon.